All right. Hey guys, this is Rocking Three, being the live commentary, Forza Five. I have my friend Gabriel Two on right now, and we're gonna basically just show you real basically how to set up a multiplayer. This sounds really basic, but because of the problems that the multiplayer has in this game, there hopefully will have a problem. I'll show you what the problem is, and then I'll show you how to fix it as well. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up a multiplayer, and I'm gonna do a private match. It's going to set up the session as, as it sets this up, it should on my friend Gabriel's screen say um, you can now join party, join party game. But we often find that it doesn't always work. So even though I set up a room, he's not always able to join my private room. And I'm hoping I can uh, duplicate that here. The uh, party game session is taking a little bit. This is a little bit longer than usual, but nothing to be unexpected. All right, now that I have a room set up, I'm just going to pick a car here just to get into the lobby. And you're going to see that I'm by myself. Now, Gabriel, can you uh, can you join my party? I still haven't been notified. All right, so this is the problem that we have had in the past where I create a private lobby, but he's unable to join it. So uh, I'm going to ask Gabriel, go ahead and set up a multiplayer now. I'm going to jump out of this altogether. And I'm going to get out of the multiplayer screen there as well. So, Gabriel, go ahead and set one up. It doesn't matter what class. Just set up a private lobby. So that is definitely one of the problems that we've seen with the multiplayer is the person that wants to lead the lobby can't always set up the lobby. So see there, it says join party game. So Gabriel has that set up. Now it's going to throw me strictly into the game, into the lobby. And let me show you here real quick that Gabriel is actually the lobby leader. So I'm going to go into my options here. He's actually the lobby leader, so I don't have any options here to change the track or the laps or the class or anything like that. So there's nothing I can do here. So Gabriel, so you're in charge of the lobby here. Why don't you go ahead and jump out, and I'm going to show them that I take over the lobby board leadership, and then you're able to join back in. So if you'll jump out, leave me as the only person in here. So now that he's jumped out, you can see that I actually have all the options here. I can change the tracks, the race, um, anything that we want to do here that you can do that in a multiplayer private match. So now he should be able to join back up in the multiplayer. So I guess if and you can see he's jumping back in there. So you can see that even though you can't start up a lobby 100% of the time, if your friend can and you're better at maybe running it or he wants you to run the lobby, he can go ahead and jump back out and then rejoin the lobby because that multiplayer lobby is created. And now you can go from there. Hopefully that wasn't too difficult. I know it's a pretty simple concept, but the multiplayer in Forza 5 is not very straightforward and it's not very good, so unfortunately. Hopefully they'll improve that as we go forward. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Later.